Dreamers, I am so excited about today's video because look what came in the mail yesterday. My magic bands. I'm so excited. So if you don't have any idea what this box is, it's totally fine. Um, we're going down to Disney World very soon. And um, basically what magic bands are, I'll show you one. They are your room key, your... Um, park tickets, your be all end all of everything that you're doing at Disney World thing. And it's like a wristband and you wear it all the time and everything that you need is right on here. So um, if you are staying on property at the Walt Disney World Resort and you don't personalize your magic band, you will be getting a gray one. There's nothing wrong with gray. Gray is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I ordered a gray one for my father-in-law because I thought he would appreciate this color more so than the other bright colors that are offered. And um, so I ordered pink for myself. I've already decorated mine, so I'm not going to show you that one yet. I ordered green for my husband and I ordered red for my mother-in-law. Now to personalize with these colors, it's completely free. They do offer skins, which is like a big, kind of like a big sticker that you can put on here to decorate them. There's um, websites that offer lots of different stickers like this. Also covers, really fancy stuff. So I'll show you some photos of that if you're interested in just kind of checking those out on your own. I am just going to decorate mine with some nail polish and call it a day. <laughs> but it's going to be a little blinged out more so than just your standard regular old looking magic band. All right, let's go check it out. So here are our four colors, but you could also choose from yellow or blue from the My Disney Experience website. And they are all one size fits all magic bands. So the gray and the colored part of the magic band is the adult size. And you could peel that gray part off to just leave the colored part. And that would be a child size. So my wrist was kind of in the middle. So I just decided to trim the gray part to make it fit my wrist a little more comfortably. But you never have to do that, whatever you want to do. So what I did to decorate my magic band is I put a little bit of clear glitter nail polish on top of the Mickey head, and then I traced around it with a little bit of white and blue nail polish, and then I glitterified, that's totally not the right word, um, put glitter all over the rest of the magic band to make it blinged out and look like Tinkerbell took over. So there were a couple of different questions that I saw floating around the internets that I will clear up for you guys because I'm sure some of you will have these same questions. First question that's pretty common is, will it still work if you paint over top of the Mickey head? And the answer is yes, absolutely. The RFID chip is underneath the Mickey head. So the Mickey head itself really doesn't have a whole lot to do with it. So yeah, over the last couple of years when people have been painting these, no problems. Second question that's pretty common is, Will the paint or whatever you're painting on top of the magic band, will it chip or will it flake or will anything happen to it? And if you use a clear top coat of nail polish on top, probably you'll be okay. Most people have said they've gone to the parks five, six, seven, eight times with their painted magic bands and have had no problems with chipping or wear or anything like that. The magic bands aren't super duper flexible. So I can understand now after seeing it, how it just won't chip off because it doesn't really bend as much as it looks like it will. So there is the finished product. It looks a little more purple in this light than it really is. There we go. There's a more pink version. And uh, yeah, it looks really, really pretty in the sun. You can see the difference between my decorated magic bands and the other ones. Now, if you are looking for ideas, check Pinterest if you're wanting to decorate your magic bands because there are so many adorable ideas up that's cute, right? Balloons and stuff. This person is way more artistic than I ever will be. Um, and there you go. So just a lot of ideas on Pinterest. So be sure to check them out. If you're artfully challenged or you don't have enough time or whatever, you can buy the magic band covers or little gems or whatever to put on your magic band eBay is the cheapest place. I'll link some links below to check out. Now, if you're looking to save money on your next Walt Disney World vacation, I was a part of making a course for Udemy all about saving money at the Walt Disney World Resort. So if you're interested in that, check the link below. I'll put it in the description box below and you can uh, get this course at a pretty awesome discount. So be sure to check it out. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to subscribe because I will be having a ton of Disney prep videos coming up. We're going to Disney like literally 
very soon. And I have done nothing <laughs> to prep for it. So I will be filming all of my packing and prep and all that stuff. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And if we're lucky, I might even be filming down at Disney. We'll just have to see. Kiss someone you love today, and I will see you all tomorrow. Ciao!